hi to all. Uh, uh, today um, I'm going to talk about uh, Relic on guitars. Um, because uh, I, I think, uh, as my friends, uh, my, my friend, one of my friends of mine uh, told me that I don't have to spell it by saying think, but think, but I'm not able. Think is like uh, thinking. Okay, a a a anyway, let's start. So, relicking a guitar. Uh, is it worth? Uh, is it something that is connected to today's um, trend? Partially, maybe, but um, I will start by saying that uh, when I was a kid in the 80s, uh, I saw surf surfacing the first uh, Relic guitars because, and I will tell you exactly why, because back then uh, the electric guitar uh, itself was still something new and the modern uh, electric guitar the first fenders came out uh, stratocasters came out in the 50s and so in the 80s uh, you know uh, we were around 30 years but back then 30 years weren't like uh, 30 years in the modern years now with the social uh, youtube uh, uh, Facebook uh, now is all we, uh, when the internet arrived all become more faster uh, 30 years of the of the 80s were like uh, 10 years now because all were, were more slower even uh, for example uh, when uh, they were uh, uh, when a new record was coming out back then uh, you had to wait for example even one year before it was arriving here in uh, Italy or uh, uh, at least uh, some months now it's all uh, uh, done in uh, same day in same uh, moment in the whole world or a few days later or before and uh, the world became more fast so 30 years uh, in the 80s were like them now so uh, fenders all the fenders were still pretty new as a, a modern thing and so the re the relic in, in the 80s we started to see in my knowledge the first uh, relic guitars that were the first uh, that were made in the 50s and the early 60s till they were using and here I want to arrive, arrive where I wanted to arrive by saying this till Fender was using the nitro painting okay like for uh, example I have in this guitar but then, then I will show it in details and uh, the nitro painting was used by Fender in beginning till the early 60s i don't remember well uh, exactly when i think i think till i i think <laughs> till 62 but um, then uh, fender decided to change the painting because uh, they didn't want the guitar to relic and look old fast because the nitro painting was uh, aging fast and the guitar was fast looking uh, relic okay and fender did not want this so they changed the painting and they put and they and they and they did the modern painting that you can find now in guitars that uh, never get get uh, aged is, is even a strong painting so for example you can find a lot of fenders uh, St fender stratocaster but not, but not only fenders uh, that uh, from the 70s uh, or end of the 60s that are still I don't say like new but uh, not for sure like this uh, one okay and so uh, in the 80s uh, we started to see the first uh, fenders uh, surfacing uh, from the early 60s and 50s uh, uh, relic uh, 
some examples now I should uh, uh, we didn't so ma uh, much as uh, now uh, and people started to like this uh, aging on uh, gu uh, guitar back then and I remember that the Fender started to I, I, at least in Italy I started to see the first custom shop uh, uh, relic at the Fender uh, guitars uh, I think in the end of the 90s or, or early 2000s, if I well remember, because you know, it was quite, quite much time ago. So it became a trend, but you know, and the Fender, after having done or have, uh, having 20 years from the early, for, from the mid of the 70s till the end of the 90s uh, we can say that Fender did not produce the nice guitars uh, or uh, not all the guitars were top guitars and uh, I, um, I spoke of this in my previous video where I, wa where, where I was uh, um, where I made a, a review of this Fender that is a 1993 Fender Stratocaster and um, and I spoke uh, about uh, what I think uh, of those guitars. They, they were quite good. Uh. Mm, uh, the neck uh, were always good, but the body and, uh, and uh, other things I did not like so much. But okay, I already spoke of this. And the relic at the, on guitars became a, a trend in the end of the 90s here in Italy and the beginning of the 2000s for uh, the first uh, Fender custom shop uh, came out uh, even from uh, Gibson side and people started to buy those uh, custom shops because they were uh, an, a really nice copy of the early 60s and 50, 50s uh, Fenders or Gibson and uh, they were trying to copy those guitars but uh, we have to say that uh, they were trying to copy because uh, you they were trying to copy the relicking but uh, those guitars were built uh, i think i i think i i i saw in a better way so for when you buy a custom shop fender now you will never have the same quality or uh, playability of those uh, really aged and vintage fenders. They are trying to copy them because uh, people uh, are, are uh, asking, the, asking for those kind of uh, guitars and they are using the nitro uh, painting that is a, a good thing because uh, the nitro painting uh, let the wood uh, like breathe and the tone of the guitar is uh, a little bit uh, better i don't know how much in percentage but uh, a little bit yes then even now the body is connected with the neck uh, give uh, to the guitar a nice and the right tone because it's not only the wood uh, or the nitro painting surely the modern painting that uh, does not age and relic and, uh, never they look like I don't say new but almost new even uh, after uh, 30 years you know those paintings uh, are like uh, encapsulating and closing in a, in a glass the wood and so the wood of a body of a guitar can't breathe and so it can express the tone as it should be so it's like the tone is encapsulated okay it's used in uh, almost all the modern uh, guitar except for the custom shops and in my opinion you can't have a guitar that plays good as those real vintage nitro painted guitars even you know back then uh, the fenders in the 50s they were handmade the 
guitars so the production was uh, there was a, a man making the next uh, or then uh, you know uh, with the, the modern uh, days they stri they started to have all uh, automated and so there wasn't anymore the human check and uh, in the human hand uh, and so they were uh, standardizing uh, all the guitars okay so they were practically all uh, sounding uh, the same in the 50s not because what, what was depending a lot of the person that was building the guitar back then even the pickups were much better in my opinion for example the fat 50 the uh, e, uh, e barra ones that were uh, made uh, by hand and not on the in, on a machine uh, and so so the relic guitar has worth it is a, is a worth depends on your taste surely if you relic a guitar you don't have to relic it by not using a nitro painting because i saw a lot of relic guitars not the custom shops of Fender or Gibson that were painted with a different kind of painting in the modern way and the relic but does not have sense because those guitars with that paint will never get uh, aged so does not have any lo uh, logical and they, they even look not like the real uh, relic and then I saw even in shops not from Fender side but from uh, other brands I saw some relicking done really bad in even in points where the guitar would not get uh, aged fast like uh, in those position here in the corner here does not have sense here you can have a, a little bit of a, re a relic but not, but, but, but not full fully and then uh, done like uh, Handly made, but in the wrong way, they they look really awful. And even I saw in some famous brands. Okay, I don't want to say which brands because you know uh, we can say that Gibson and Fender are making the best relicking I saw. Even in, even if recently I saw in a shop a few Fender relicked and they were quite bad but those are seldom cases seldom because uh, generally i saw really nice re uh, relics uh, uh, my uh, my friend of mine a uh, friend of mine i have has a beautiful uh, custom shop uh, uh, a sunburst in uh, three tones uh, or two tones with a light relic and uh, it's beautiful uh, me in my case uh, this guitar i relicked the uh, uh, by going to a lutist that is Max Pagan and I want to thank him uh, a lot because it is uh, he did an he did an awesome job a great job is he is even a really nice person as first and uh, he cares of the guitar of each guitar he has in his hands like he's uh, a son okay a daughter and uh, he show you all the process he is doing in details and uh, re 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 really a nice person a nice person and uh, in this case i made uh, i painted uh, i let him paint uh, it, this guitar in a uh, green nitro and in a um, heavy uh, relic you have to know that the relic can be done in three steps the light one the medium and the hard one that is the one that i did in this uh, guitar that is a full uh, relic in all uh, body or uh, in a, a big amount of the body i will show you here some details i showed already in the previous video but okay for who is watching me for the first time i'm showing now again okay uh, in the back side he did an uh, outstanding work i hope you can see the details really 
then uh, I have to say that this guitar, uh, for being a, a 90s Fender that uh, I didn't like much the 90s Fenders uh, except for, for the next, but uh, since it was painted in neutral, the guitar response tone is better. There is no way, no way. <laughs> Here I have a Seymour Duncan, uh, Jeff Beck, so I, I have a, a, this guitar has a really strong tone, it was always surprising me, but even more when I, I, I repainted it in, um, uh, with the nitro painting. Then, uh, for example, me, I don't buy the custom shop fenders as first uh, because I don't have the money. <laughs> then uh, because I saw many guitarists buying them uh, in speaking first of the value of the guitar and then about the playability of the guitar. Okay, So I think that it is okay to buy uh, a custom shop that has uh, much uh, value but uh, you have to buy first uh, because uh, you like the playability of that uh, guitar and not the value okay in my opinion and then i saw even people that bought those custom shops and never played uh, them because if they play much those guitars and they get and they and they make uh, a little scratch on the guitar the guitar loses the value for even uh, 1000 less okay and uh, does not have sense in my opinion okay uh, or you can be a collector but uh, you have even to play the instrument or better you don't have to be afraid to play them because uh, the guitar uh, you know is part of you okay then uh, what i prefer some relic, when you buy a guitar that is already relic I suggest to buy a, one with a light relic because the guitarist and the guitar has a story together and if you buy a guitar that is aged a lot with a strong relic it does not have sense because it's not part of your story with the guitar uh, in this case, I made a stronger relic, but uh, I painted this guitar three times because first it was a red, a lipstick red, then I vanillinized it with uh, black and white stripes. Then uh, I removed the, all the painting and I made this. So this guitar has my own story. So it's, one, it's, it's a thing that I choose it, it was going to be in this way but uh, if you buy a guitar that has already a stronger relic uh, does not have sense because it's not uh, your story with your own uh, uh, guitar you are like uh, uh, acting uh, something that is not yours so I prefer to buy as uh, some friends did custom shops and uh, with a light relic and then while i'm playing uh, they get more uh, aged and this is does have sense in a artistic way okay because mine is a, an artistic way and uh, feeling and playability that you have to get with your uh, instrument and not uh, putting in the wall not like me, me i play all my guitars that are in the wall uh, putting in the wall and uh, watching at them only so this is what uh, i'm thinking uh, 
generally when I saw people buying those relics and don't play them because afraid to ruin those guitars does not have any sense in my in my honest opinion then uh, everyone is free to do what, uh, what they want uh, but this is my opinion if uh, I would buy one of those guitar I would not care if uh, the guitar lose the value when I'm playing it because I made a, a scratch for example but uh, because me uh, I want the guitar being part of my life or my of my day uh, of, of, of my years you know is uh, mostly the guitar uh, age uh, with you okay I'm a sentimental on those things but uh, I prefer in uh, this way. Surely you will never see me buy a guitar for not playing it and for uh, watching it. I got the Frank Strat there. That uh, okay, I bought like this because I'm a Van Halen fan. But I play it uh, every day, and uh, I'm not afraid to make a scratch here and there. Okay, the value is one thousand four hundred euro. But uh, even if uh, the value was around 5,000 euro, I was playing it and not uh, putting it in a, you know, in, a, in a bag and don't touch it, uh, uh, never. Okay, so I think I told uh, almost everything. <laughs> your thoughts and please subscribe if you want and put a like and I will answer everyone that is written in the is posting a comment and I thank you because I'm seeing that the channel a little bit is week by week is growing a little bit I have more visuals and so on it means that you know maybe something nice or that has a sense I'm saying and so thanks you a lot and keep on rocking see you next time